Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from the Bespoke Post series. I have another box in today, and as you can see, it's not a real big one, a little bit long, but uh, this is the La Casa kit or the Stone kit. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. All right, everybody. Well, this is what we've got in the box. There's just really one product, and then, of course, the card here. As you can see, it does say Stone, uh, a little picture of a guy. Looks like he's fly fishing, and then, of course, the product that's inside. Now, if you do want to find out more about this, uh, you can check out uh, other things on Bespoke Post, and they do give you a QR code to, of course, scan, and it'll take you to. Uh, for this one, it looks like it's for more of the outdoor type items, which obviously this is. Uh, there, of course, are tons of other things there. Uh, so let's check this out now as you can see this is by Fox Edge and if you haven't guessed already this is a, a uh, bladed instrument. Uh, now we've got the uh, little card that comes with it and this is just uh, looks like it's the yeah just the warranty uh, some warranty information and it looks like they have it in uh, a few different languages there so uh, there you go there uh, they do of course back up their products uh, and then here is the knife that we've got uh, obviously first thing i notice is we've got a kydex case um, it's got uh, a well this is an interesting looking belt clip looking thing here uh, but then it also has the holes on the outside so you can actually strap it to a bag or backpack uh, maybe even to your leg or your boot or something like that um, Let's see what we've got. There's a little switch on the bottom here. Oh, oh, and you press, you press. Okay, so there we go. So there it opens up. So if you've got a nice wide belt, you don't have to take your belt off. That makes it really nice to, uh, to put this on. So you just uh, slide this down behind the belt. Looks like you've got room for about a one and a half inch belt. Uh, it doesn't look like it's quite big enough for a two inch belt, which seems a little strange with as big as this is, but, uh, so that's kind of nice. I like that. Uh, then you just snap it down, and then it looks like you slide that over. Yeah, and then you can't you can't depress it, so it won't come off. Uh, we have the scales. We'll just see that right now. Uh, and these are polymer style scales. There's just some basic uh, shaping to them. They're relatively thin, uh, but as you can see, we've got a full tang that goes all the way to the back. And then of course there is a little lanyard hole at the back. And let's pop this out. And there we go. So we've got a uh, kind of a stone finish on it. It's very smooth. It's not textured at all. Sometimes the ones that we get are textured. Uh, and this one is not. It just has that look to it. And it looks like you've actually got kind of a, a forward kind of grip for your index finger. Instead of, you probably could hold it back because there's lots of room on the handle. Um, I have what would be a large size glove is what I wear for my hands. And so uh, pretty nice there. Or you can kind of choke up, basically, just like you would on a baseball bat, and get here and maybe get a little closer. Maybe if you're going to do some whittling or carving, this would give you a lot more control. It does have the little ridges on the back to give you a bite for your thumb and help with control as well. Uh, now, I don't remember exactly how wide this is. I think it's somewhere around the 4-plus inch uh, length. So uh, I'll pop that up down here um, somewhere on the video and uh, show you what the overall or what the length is of the blade as well as what the overall length is. Uh, but uh, this is this is not bad. It's got a decent weight to it. Um, balance is just about right there. So it's got a nice balance to it. Um, as it said, it was a tactical knife. I, I, I see it. I mean, I don't usually mix tactical and outdoors but they're not necessarily far off in my point of view. Uh, now, mind you, I'm not a professional knife person of any type. I don't make knives or anything like that. Wouldn't mind if I did, but uh, so I, I, I'm not going to give you 100% perfect information on this, but uh, the basics that I know, this is pretty decent blade. Uh, we've got a, uh, basically this is, a two-stage grind. You've got the grind that goes here, and then you've got the actual bevel of the uh, sharpened edge. Uh, so you've got that two-step grind. Let's kind of take a look and see what it's like coming out of the box. 
Mm. Yeah, it's it's cutting the hair. It's not it's not super sharp, but it is cutting some of the hair. So could be touched up. Maybe take it to a uh, sharpening steel and uh, touch it up that way. Yeah, going across it like this, you can feel it doesn't have that razor keen edge. Or at least it doesn't come that way. But uh, it is a pretty nice one. Um, definitely one that I think uh, would be good for camping and everything. Um, I'm sure I could do a little bit of uh, wood splitting with this, and uh, that wouldn't be bad. But then also, um, I think in the uh, page for uh, for this, it said something to the effect of uh, doing some carving. So I think with this having the uh, kind of forward section on it like that to give you more control, I think that would give you a very good... Uh, ability to to carve with but uh, yeah it's not bad um, the handle isn't too bad uh, for my taste it's a little bit thin just slightly um, but that's but that's more if I'm holding it towards the back here if I'm holding it back here it feels a little bit thin but if I'm holding it up here um, because the depth is greater it kind of gives me more of a full feeling in my hand and it feels like I've got more control over it and uh, am able to use it very well. And uh, of course, you know, snaps right in there. That's definitely not coming out, as you can see, molded around the handle and stuff. So you've got it pretty solid in that aspect. Uh, if you guys want to check this out, of course, you can go down there in the description below. I have a link to the Bespoke Post site. Uh, if you use that link, you're going to get 20 bucks off of your first purchase um, of a box. I believe it's for $50 or more, I think is how it works. Uh, and, uh, you know, that kind of saves you a little bit of money. Gives me a little bit uh, as well because that's my link. Uh, I am not sponsored by Bespoke Post. I'm just showing you some of the products because I think these are interesting. But uh, also while you're down there, you've got the social media down there. You can check out... Uh, all those as well as the link to my PayPal account if you guys would like to uh, help out the channel. And uh, you know, if you like this video, don't forget to uh, hit that like button, that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right guys, well my name's Cougar and that'll do it for me today. This is another episode of the Bespoke Post series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.